Uh, we're going to be doing the rear differential fluid. Um, you can see I got this from FCP. I don't know, I forgot how much it was. But uh, this is what you need, 7590. You can pretty much use any brand. Um, but I heard good things about the Redline synthetic oil. Supposedly, you're not even supposed to be changing the differential fluid because it's somehow lifetime. But we already know uh, we're going to change it either way. So, like I said, you're going to need two bottles, which is like uh, two quarts of differential fluid. You're going to need a jack, and let's see how it goes. So, I'm basically lifting it up from the differential itself. I obviously put a block of wood right there because you don't want the two metals touching, and I don't know, maybe it could crack. But anyway, I did put a block of wood, I lifted it up, put two jack stands on the side just because safety of course. Um, after I did that, um, I put a stopper in the front just so the car wouldn't slide forward just to be safe. And even after that, I still jacked up the car semi from the front a little bit. Alright, so what you're going to need for this is actually a... Um, what size is this? A 14 millimeter Allen. This is really big. Uh, usually doesn't come with any usual kits. I had to buy a separate kit from Amazon. This is like 10 bucks. It comes with a uh, pretty big Allen, which are the non-common ones. Oops. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I loosened it up right now. So it should be loose, there we go, yeah, loose. So what you want to do is get a dream can or something. Just in case any fall, and you don't want to get yelled at for putting oil on the floor. You don't want to bend anything. So we're going to unplug this. Uh, nothing should really come out right now. Uh, see, it's pretty, uh, really clear. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, boy. So my best guess is that they have changed it before. For sure. But who knows how long ago. I just got the car. Uh, so. And I'd rather put that red line stuff in there. And have like a peace of mind. Knowing uh, that we got it. So unlike uh, any other differential. This one. It doesn't have a drain. Uh thingy just because uh, BMW thought that this was a uh, lifetime fluid you know so you basically have to pump it out with some sort of a pump which I'm using this right now which I'm not sure how well this is gonna actually work I might have to go get a different pump yeah this is not really getting much uh, something else we could do is put the car back down lift it from the front and then that was kind of lean all the fluid up because right now it's kind of all pushed that way for the same reason so you know what we're gonna do that all right so i just mainly did this in order to try to get as much fluid as i could out of there i mean you don't really necessarily have to do this i did end up having to pump most of it out either way but if you do it like i am you you basically help out draining as much as possible just because it doesn't have a dedicated drain bolt so if anything this was beneficial but either way i ended up pumping out most of it with the pump oh yes yeah. by the way i want to go get this pump right here now you can get these like at walmart or autozone or riley's for like 15 bucks uh but walmart sells them cheaper you know instead it's going up okay let's try okay i think we're getting stuck stuff all right so after pumping a few times and doing some research it, apparently you can't really take out much but this is how much it took out this is this looks not that much compared to the two quarts it says it takes um either way like i said uh most of it's probably gonna be on the bottom but if only i had like a smaller hose or something that could actually reach on the bottom but that's how it looks for a hundred thousand miles that looks pretty weird uh, then again, it is kind of mixed with the other one, but it looks okay. Um, so this is what we're using, like I said, the red line, full synthetic. Uh, this is what 
was recommended from all from all, all right on the forums and stuff. This one or the Chromoly one or Promoly, something like that. Uh, there's people that put like Royal Purple or Mobile One, the usual stuff. But as you can see, it's a nice. Oh. <coughs> well, now you can see it's a nice gold color. Uh, so we're gonna put this in here. Hopefully, it fits perfect. Fit. It fits like if it was meant to go on there. Okay. Then we'll put our little hose right here. All right. So we're trying to do this with the car level, just so we don't overfill it or maybe even underfill it. If that's even a thing. Start pumping. Hopefully, you guys can see that. All right, so when I was pumping the fluid, there would be times where the fluid would start oozing out, but once I stopped it, it kind of slowed down. So basically, what you want to do is slowly put the fluid in there because sometimes it does overflow, even though it's not completely full. Uh, so just keep going until you get a steady stream like I am right here. And then obviously plug it up and tighten it down just snug. It doesn't have to be super tight. Last thing but not least, of course, would be tightening to tighten it up. Um, and you guys saw it when I took it off, it wasn't that tight. So just leave it the same way. Got a nice little snug. And that's it. Bada bing. Bada bing. So as you guys saw, oh my gosh, what is going on? As you guys saw, it took all of this, all of one, and about, I wanna say a quarter of that. So about one and a quarter of uh, diff fluid. Uh, some of the new stuff fell in here, as you guys saw. But that's pretty much it. Pretty much the same thing on uh, the 335s, the uh, 535s, I guess, as well. Um, but yeah, that's how you switch it. I'm gonna be doing uh, the Serpentine belt next on this 135, so make sure to stay tuned. And yeah, see you guys later. Stay with me.